Hey y'all! Today I'm going to show you how to build the small footprint peach farm that I use on my own base. Some people don't like the peach farms because they're not fully automated, but when full, the multi-slings actually last a really long time, so I, I mean, it might as well be automated. I prefer to have small footprint farms, and true to form, this one doesn't take up much room at all. It's about one by one, but it is expandable. So let's get to building. Uh, first off, we put the stack thing up to stack the crop plot, so... Eh. Kind of in the way here. <laughs> I did not think my... my placing... Alright, so you stack the four plots on top of each other. And you have to wait until it starts to drop down before actually placing another one. Because it will stick. So. And that is done. Now. Why am I jumping up when I have this? <laughs> yeah, like most stacked farms, uh... It uses the Reaper, and it's going to use the multi-sling, so you will need to get that blueprint. And then... Just encase it in walls. It doesn't have to be glass, I just like glass so I can see what's going on. And then we put the market on top, so you want it to slightly overlap when you're doing just one just so it'll stay up on top gravity works interesting in this game <laughs> and then i'm going to put zero uh, put, put zero i'm going to put two of the absorbers on the bottom and i always put two absorbers when i'm pulling up because sometimes one absor one absorber doesn't actually have the strength to actually pull it up so let's see. Now I'm going to put a roof on it. And this is going to be tricky because this is down just slightly. It won't actually go in. But if you glitch it in, it'll pop up again. And last but not least, we need a sprinkler. And we're going to go ahead and set the multi-sling to 170 seconds. I know other people have said that it should be less, but 170 seconds pretty much makes sure that you're not going to be wasting any, any peach seeds. And then put the peaches in, or the, the seeds in. And that is the essence of it. So as you can see, it's semi-modular, so just by moving the uh, multi-slings, slightly over to center and adding another one, you can actually put four of them together. Then you just move the market to be centered in all four of them and add more absorbers. With stacked plots, sometimes one crop stays behind. I don't know what that's about. I, it seems to do it no matter what way the absorber is pulling from. The interesting thing about it is that it will get picked up the next time the crop is harvested and sometimes just another one is left behind. It doesn't cause any lag just because there's there's one of them there. It's not it's not a big stack of things that gets left behind. Because of the ability to make them in a small area, peach farms will always be my go-to preference for a money farm. So that's just about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe and have a great day.